Hello to all. I've been busy. Spent a lot of time writing too. I'm trying to get a couple of books finished and almost basically rewriting a book, but it'll be done pretty soon. I went through a thousand dollars in ones over the last few days. And you know what? I haven't found a whole heck of a lot of anything really, really interesting. Uh, I did find something I haven't found in quite a while, very long while, but I'll just start you out with these. I found a couple old ones, probably not going to keep them because they're not good enough uh, shape for me. Uh, 63A series and a 69. You know, it's just kind of neat to find. A 69 is in pretty good shape, though. It's, uh, yeah, it's, is that, I don't know if that's, I think that's, that's, uh, that's ink right there, but I'll go through them and see if I can remember what they are as I go through them. I got a couple of different piles here. I uh, found a few few birth dates, uh, history dates. Uh, January 26, 1620. <laughs> I'm sure that's going to be something over in Europe or in England, probably. Uh, they had a lot of stuff going on with the kings and all that. We didn't have nothing going on here in 1620. 412, 1733. Maybe there'll be something in this country. Uh, 712, hey, look at that. That was 412. This is 712, 2004. Um, somebody's got a birthday around there. 724, 1979. And I think there's another one. Oh, you know what this is? Uh, what was her name? Bessie Smith. She, uh, she was born in 1894, and she died in 1937. And I wish I had the webpage open so I could tell you exactly what it is. Maybe I do. Let me take a look. Uh, Bessie Smith was, uh, yeah, I do. She was uh, known as the Empress of the Blues. If you look up Bessie Smith, B-E-S-S-I-E -S -S -E, Smith on YouTube, you'll find some, uh, you'll find some music by her. But I thought that was kind of interesting. I found a, a, a birth year and a, a death year or somebody on the same bill. And she really was popular. She was pretty darn popular popular as, as a blues singer. So we got those, and what did I just, okay, there's the old ones, there's that. And then I did find some uh, crisp 95s. Again, I'm probably not going to keep them. These are in sequence. Um, they are uh, 2673, 2674, and 2670, uh -huh, okay, 2673 and 4. And they are crisp, they're, they're very nice bills. Uh, then I've got, uh, what is this, a 1985, why is this here? 2055-6442, there's, there's nothing happening there. Is that a web note? No? Oh, these, yeah, okay, these are in sequence, too. Uh, these are, uh, 1985s in sequence. And they're really nice-looking bills. But there's three of those, 42, 43, and 44. And they're crisp. They, uh, they were in the middle of a a pack. Uh, the edges are tight. They're crisp, crisp mills. I might hang on to them. Who knows? Here's a 2009 and what's happening with this one? I think this has got a lower zero. Uh, yeah, a slit disc <laughs> over here, but it's not slipped enough. I need that to be a little bit below the center of the one for it to be really worth hanging on to. I don't know. I just wanted to show it to you. And here is a not a slip disc, but it's the, I just noticed the serial number is a bit higher. I'll line this one up with it. And you can't see it in there anyhow, but let's squeeze it over. You can see how much higher their serial number is than it should be. Interesting. I've seen some of these go on eBay for five, seven, eight bucks a piece. I don't know. I'm not going to bother. And then, uh, yeah, we'll leave them for last. Uh, did pick up some trinaries, 658. And a four five a zero. I wish that zero wasn't in there. Would have been a binary. And a fifty five nine. Why am I saying fifty five five one five and nine on that one? There must be something else here. I didn't get my china. Here's a broken ladder. Uh, one two three four six. One two three four five six nine. Six seven nine. One two three four five six seven nine. I wish they were in order. It'd be a nice. Never found a ladder. And then uh, five sevens, I, I don't have, I'm not going to keep it. And five threes, five threes in that one. Interesting, you know, some people like them. 
and an X. I don't see many of these. I don't, uh, you know, out of a thousand bills, it's the only one. And out of the last two or three thousand, I didn't see one either, but just some other stuff. And then here you go. I've gone through thousands and thousands and thousands of bills over the past year, and I never find these. You see the plate number right here? See that two right there? This is a web note, and for those who are familiar with web notes, here's where the plate number is normally on bills. Now these web notes, what web notes are, is they're instead of uh, instead of being printed on on uh, sheets of paper, they're printed on continuous spools, and these were kind of like an experimental bill. But I found three of them, and the only years you'll find these on is '88, '93, and '95. And I think that's a, is that a six or an eight? That's the plate number. That's an eight. And the plate number on this one is a 10. Uh, this is a 1995. This is a 93. And this is an 88A. So that's what I found in a thousand in bills. I will definitely keep the web notes. Some web notes can fetch up to 300 bucks in circulated condition. Uh, look them up. Uh, we'll put the link. I think I can put the link in for uh, looking these web notes up too. Uh, right along with the same place you can look up your star notes. Good, real good site to, to do that in. So that's what I found, and that's what there is. And I'm trying to get the other channel going, guys. I need more subscribers over there for me to start streaming. I have got an oodle full of uh, proof 69 and 70 coins. <clears throat> that we're going to be doing uh, during the shows, during the live streams. And, of course, I still have the 1,000 sub giveaway. I'm really still pretty doggone uh, angry with uh, YouTube because they have not, not given me a straight answer as to what the copyright, uh, the copyright problem was with my channel. I had 18 different videos on my channel that had copyright claims on them. And the funny thing is, the guy I'm talking to at YouTube, his name is Frank, and he said, no, there's no problem with any of these. I said, well, no, it's, it's the problem. But if it's not a problem with those, can you please explain to me what the problem is with the one in question that made you guys revoke my streaming rights? He said, I really don't know, and that video isn't even available, which it isn't. And I didn't delete it. They said it was deleted on my side. I don't delete my videos. Uh, they're all there, every one that I've ever done. Um, even the ones that, that do have copyright claims. But the funny thing is, the copyright claim ones, I'm totally allowed to, to share the revenue on those on those videos. And, and I pointed this out in another video. I, I showed you the page, what it says that I, that I can share. Isn't that cool? I can share a copyright claim video, 18 of them. I can share the monetary value of, of whatever, you know, comes out from people watching it, which I don't want to do. I wouldn't do. It belongs to the copyright owner. But yet I, I got it. And I don't have any copyright strikes. I don't have any guideline strikes. So whatever, you know, maybe maybe they have an egg on their face. I You know, probably not. Uh, I want to say maybe they have egg on their face and they're just so embarrassed to tell me that they made a mistake. Because I have no idea. And they have no idea. So anyhow. Hey, I'll talk to you later. Hope to see you all soon. Have a good night.